Well, hello there, Eric Griffith here with Mobile Tech Services in Mobile Tech Studio B. And today I'd like to talk about how to stop the Google Meet student hack, an issue that we've all had to deal with, with students entering Google Classrooms without the teachers being there. That's right, with some clever clicking around and duplicating of tasks, students have figured out how to just log into a Google Meet without the teacher being there. This is, of course, after the student, uh, after the teacher has had the Google Meet for the day and they're done with class, they tell their friends and then they just jump in and meet after the fact, right? We as tech directors and educators have to stop this because uh, it's equivalent to leaving your classroom unattended uh, with students in there. You wouldn't do that in real life, so we shouldn't do it virtually on our technology all right so how the students are doing it is they are duplicating a tab and i'm going to go through how they're doing that as well they're duplicating a tab and it's essentially leaving the key in the door right so that the student can re-enter the classroom at any time so what we're going to do is an additional set of steps which is we're going to go into our host controls within google uh, classrooms google meet and then we're going to turn off this quick access then we're going to go down and hit the reset button on the Google Meet link, and this is going to prevent the student from rejoining the classroom. All right, so let's walk through exactly how this works out for our teachers. All right, so I've inside, I'm inside my Google Classroom, and I'm an educator here, so I'm going to click on my Google Meet, and I'm going to go ahead and turn off my camera, and I'm going to hit join. All right, so now we've got our Google Classroom up and running here. Now I'm going to go over to my Chromebook, my student Chromebook here, and we'll join our Google Classroom here. We'll go and join the same Google Classroom. All right, we'll click on the link. And I will go ahead and turn off my video and the camera as well. And before I do that, though, I'm going to go up here to the top, and this is exactly what the students are doing, is they're duplicating the tab. So it's, again, putting one foot in the door, uh, as my buddy John Sowash says, leaving the keys in the door, however you want to describe it uh, to your teachers, your colleagues, fellow educators. They're duplicating this tab. And then uh, what they're doing is they're going ahead and joining that classroom with the first tab that they've opened, all right? So this is what we're going to do. The teacher's already in the classroom so they can join, all right? Everything's going well, uh, as expected. You're having your Google meeting. Uh, everything's going great. Now we jump back over to the student, or I'm sorry, the teacher desktop, and we're done with our classroom for the day. So we follow our step-by-step -step process, which is the first thing we do is tell our students we're done. We give them the opportunity to leave. If they don't leave, then what we do is click over here to this side, and then we remove the student, all right? Once we've removed the student, then normally what we would do is just end the classroom and be done. But what has happened is the students have realized that as soon as this happens, they can jump right back in, okay? So here's the next step that we as educators need to do. We need to go down to this host controls, okay? This little gear right down here at the bottom. Click on this, and then I like to just uncheck everything, all right? You really only need to quick access one, but if you turn off everything, that's going to work just as well, all right? So once we've done that, once we've turned off quick access, then we can leave the call, okay? So we are, are now done with the meeting. There shouldn't be any other students joining the, the meet now. They should all be prompted that if they are going to join, they're waiting for the host to admit them, which there is no host in the meeting, so they can't get in. So let's prove this theory by jumping back over to the Chromebook, okay? So we see that this was the student's first Chromebook screen. They officially were re removed from the meeting. So we're going to go ahead and close that. And so now, hopefully this is going to work, this is their duplicated slide or their duplicated um, uh, screen tab. So what they're going to do is try and join. And what should happen is it says waiting for the host to join. The meeting will start as soon as the host has joined. Well, Bad news, the host did not join. So they are never going to be able to get back in, okay? So that's how to fix this. However, there is one more crucial step that we have to do as educators. I'll jump over to this side here. There's one more crucial step that we have to do as educators, and that is reset the classroom meet link. If you do not do this, what is going to happen is your student is going to get this message that says, you can't join this video call. Okay. Super frustrating. And 
It's been one of my uh, most viewed YouTube videos because everybody is getting this message. So I'm going to tell you how to fix that inside this video as well. All right. So as educators, before we start another Google Meet, what we want to do is jump right back over to this gear, click on the gear, scroll all the way down, and then we want to click and hit reset. As soon as we hit reset, we get a brand new Google Meet link. Then we can go up here and close. This link right here will also update on the student's um, account immediately as well. Let's jump back over to the student's uh, classroom and we'll click refresh here. And within a couple of seconds, it'll automatically adjust. If not, the student can hit refresh. Oh, I did it before I was able to hit refresh. So anyway, that's how to fix that issue. All right. So to me, it would be very easy, very helpful if Google would just make this so that as soon as we leave the meeting, we are prompted, do we want to end this meeting for everybody? And it does all of those different features, right? That would be nice. However, we're not quite there yet. Okay. So I want to say a special thank you to uh, Google Tech Support for helping me troubleshoot this. When we were doing this, uh, we also got a lot of error messages um, where the, you know, the student was receiving the, you can't join this video. And so that's where we found out that you have to go back in and definitely reset this. Otherwise your student is going to receive that. You can't join this video meeting or the video call, however it's phrased, they're going to receive that every single time. So that is a crucial step. So if you do this right, what's going to happen is it's going to say waiting to join if a student tries that hack in order to do that. So special thanks to Google Tech Support and special thanks to the half dozen uh, Ohio uh, tech directors that on are on the Ohio Tech Coordinator listserv who helped me troubleshoot this as well and gave me the, uh, the solutions as well. So awesome. Thanks to all of you. Anywho, if this video helped you out, and uh, hopefully it did, I'd like a thumbs up and maybe even possibly, pretty pleased with a cherry on top, a subscribe. So that would be great if you could do any of that. In addition, if you're an educator or a tech director, um, in the description of this YouTube video, I have a lot of uh, information that you can pass on. Just copy and paste it, uh, including this video. Send that on to your staff, and I have no problem helping you out there with that already took these step-by-step -step instructions and made them into a helpful thing for you. So anyway, I'm Eric Griffith. You can follow me on the Twitter at Mr. Griftastic, and I hope you have a Griftastic day. Thanks.